Christmas dying. He said, Brother David, I need you. I said, God sent me. Sit down. We got to have a talk. And I began to remind him of the dead raisins we've been in together over the last 25 years. I spent time, an hour, hour and a half, talking to him about the miracles of God, about this one commander of a terrorist organization that had decided to take us out, and they attacked us relentlessly for a while. And his wife gave birth. The, the rebel leader's wife did, and her uterus broke, and the placenta went inside her body, and gangrene set up. And so they came and got him during the night. He's the guy they had been putting in jail several dozen times. He knew it to be a trap. So would I have known it? No, you're coming either with me voluntarily. I'm bringing you at gunpoint. You're coming to pray for my wife, he said. He went in. Sure enough, the lady was dying. Gangrene everywhere. Poisons all in her body. No survival rate. Impossible. Pastor turns and looks at this commander. I won't pray for her. You will get born again. And all of your men will get born again or she will die. That's not how you preach. You live with devils and tolerate and compromise them and you call it love. I call it a milk toast gospel. It has no power. You stand for Jesus. You stand for authority and he'll back you. Commander turned, looked at all of his captains, said, Hey, give me all the men in here. They all come. They all put all their weapons in a pile. And he said, All right, what's this born again stuff? He explained it to them, and every one of them got on their knees and got born again. First thing comes to your mind. First thing comes to y'all's mind. It won't stick. You can't force anybody to get born again. Your gospel can't. Joy has power. Devils relent to the joy of the Lord. <laughs> he laid hands on that lady, left that village, came and got me, and I thought he had been caught and bought by the by the rebel forces. I thought I knew it was a problem. I knew it was a trap for me. I trusted him with my life. I couldn't believe he was asking me to go to their village. But I decided to go anyway. Because if they did have him bought off, I needed him back. And the only way to get him back was to have more power than they got money. And that's done by the Holy Ghost strength, and that comes from the joy of the Lord. Holy Ghost power. I went in there astounded. A pile of weapons there. All these people reading Bibles. We laid hands on that lady. God gave her a new uterus, healed the gangrene, and since then she's had two children. Oh yeah, and by the way, this forced gospel that y'all don't believe in turned into two churches and all the believers are ex-rebels. We went and dug a hole and put all their guns in it and 
Covered it up. But that's not the story, is it? I was explaining to this man all these things that we had done, these great wonders of God, the exploits. After about an hour and a half, he looks at me. I got it, Brother Hogan. I said, that's a good idea. Now I want your wife. I went around there. Now, who is this lady to me? Thanks for asking and caring. She's a lady that has attended me for 25 years. She is a lady that if I'm in a service where she's at, she never says a word to me. I sit down to a meal. She takes my bowl, brings it back with three times the amount of food in it. She sees to it that I'm overfed every time I'm around her. But she's laying on the floor dying. What is she to me? She is the lady, the only person I personally have seen in traveling all over the world. She's the only person I've ever seen that operates in all nine gifts of the Holy Ghost. Our work needs her. So I've got to get her back. She's valuable to us and to the kingdom of God. If you saw her, you would look like that once and never look back at her. She's an Indian. She's the bottom of the caste. But in heaven terms, she's the greatest power I've ever seen. I admire her. I fear her. I don't fear many things. I walked over to her, knelt down, put his hand in her hand, picked both their hands up. In Jesus' name, I rebuke you, lying spirit. You do not have the right to her. She is for the kingdom of God. You are a lie in Jesus' name. She had been on her back. Ladies, understand, it's flooding for over two months. Holy Ghost. <laughs> she was laying there. Directly, she looked at me. A surprised look came on her eyes. She sat up. Thanks for coming, Brother Hogan. Are you hungry? Yes, I am. She stood straight up, healed by the blood of Jesus. <laughs> fuego, fuego, fuego de Dios. I enjoyed my meal and went and found Miss Hogan. Too late to go to the conference the first day. My son and the, the, the army with him came in later. Where you been, Pop? I said, I've been casting out devils. What you sissies been doing? <laughs> no, we're not sissies, Pop. We had a thousand people knocked out by the Holy Ghost. We had 14 people born again, and miracles abounded. I said, see, you don't need me. Holy Ghost. Acts chapter 8. Please. Talking about the joy of the Lord. Talking about it's the strength and stronghold of God's power. If you do not own it, you will be taken down. You must receive tonight the joy of the Lord. In excess. It'll let you do things I do. <laughs> 